What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Welcome to the Peter and Al podcast. Oh yeah, it's time to put those painters out and put those headphones in. Because we're here with your host, Pistol P. Jr. A.K.A. Not the A.K.A. guy. That's g <laughs> Oh man. Um, so we got a lot to talk about this week. Do we really, though? Do we? We really? do. PlayStation State to Play alone is a lot to talk about. Did Wait, we did we not to... do a show last week? We did, but we didn't watch the State to Play yet. Oh shit! When was the State to Play? Was it this week? State to, State to Play was on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happened. That's right. Yeah, okay. And, uh, yep, there's a lot. Uh, starting with Death Stranding 2. Again, it's epic. Death Stranding 2 on the beach is what it's called. (laughs) On the beach. (laughs) That sounds like such a relaxing... It's it's like, like, I I saw the trailer, so I know this is not what it is, but I just picture, like, fucking, uh... Like, you remember, what's, what's what's that fighting game? Uh, Dead or Alive? Uh huh. Like, remember, I forget what the what they had. They had like an, a separate game that they released, where it was just basically just like bikini mode of that game. Isn't Isn't Dead or Alive Dead or Alive the volleyball game, or is that No, the volleyball. The Dead or Alive was a fighting game, and then they had the volleyball. Let me see. Hold on, I gotta pull that up now. Which Dead or the Alive? I don't think of. Dead or Alive, yeah, that's a fighting game, right? And then Dead or Alive, let me see. It was Extreme Beach Volleyball or Ah. Extreme Venus Vacation. And it basically just had all the the female characters in in bikinis playing volleyball. (laughs) And crazy jiggle physics. Yeah, yeah, crazy jiggle physics. And that's what, what, like, when I read that title, Death Stranding 2 on the beach, (laughs) I just picture just... (laughs) Norman Reedus and Aquino. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's all the kid, Benicio. I would not not Benicio Del Toro. Uh, what's his fucking uh, Del Toro? Yeah, Guillermo, Guillermo, Guillermo Del Toro. <laughs> it was Speedo as well, just playing volleyball. <laughs> yeah. just epic jiggle physics. Epic, epic. <laughs> <laughs> Next gen jiggle physics. That's funny. Um, the trailer looks cool. Yeah, and and even if you played the first game, you don't know what the fuck's going on in this game. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna fl- I gotta fucking play the first game. I'm gonna so I'm about to finish Final Fantasy VII finally. Oh, Jesus! Um, I know, doing it. You're actually doing it. I'm proud of you. I'm actually, yep. Yeah, I'm so close. Um, and then after after fucking the second Final Fantasy, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Death Stranding. I've decided it. Uh, I tried to play. Did you see? It's a free download. It's called Silent Hill, a short message. Uh huh. And I tried to play it, and I don't like. Okay, I like horror movies. I like the suspense. I like. I don't like a lot of gore, but I like suspense. I like jump scares. I like stuff like that. I don't like feeling helpless in video games. Oh, okay. And this game, at least up to the point where I played, you feel fucking, there's, like, all you do is run away. <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, so you played Outlast, so you played a lot of Outlast, didn't you? I played, no, I didn't even, I played a little bit of Outlast. Oh, okay. I played maybe, like, 
like I played a little bit of what you see in the demo, and I, I think I played maybe maybe twenty minutes past what you play in the demo, mm. which is not a lot. And then I was like, you know what? I'm good. Fuck this game. Yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> I don't need to play this shit. <laughs> um, great game. Gameplay looked felt good. Fucking the controls felt great. Graphically, it looked gorgeous. It was creepy as shit. Even like even before anything happened. Like so, the first part of the game, the first I, I'd say the first five minutes of the game. You're just in an abandoned apartment complex. It's just covered in graffiti and garbage. Yeah. And you're trying to find your friend. And you're getting text messages and shit. And it's like, like there's nothing overtly creepy about it, but it's creepy as shit by how realistic everything looks. Uh, and you're just, okay. you're, just, you're just in an abandoned fucking apartment complex. Like, okay, so check this out. I, I, literally, I played maybe 15 minutes of the game. Right? Maybe. Right. Not even that. Probably not even that. Before I, I was like, all right, I tapped out. I might try to go back and play some more of it, but it was it was nighttime. I tapped out. I went to bed. I'm not the type to have nightmares when I watch horror movies. I had a fucking nightmare after playing that game. Really? <laughs> yes. So, okay, on top of that, so you know what's going on with the LA Towers right now? Mm, LA, no. So there's these two towers that got built in LA. They were supposed to be like this. It was supposed to be like this mega hotel or whatever. And then COVID shut it down, basically, right? Right. And so it's become this graffiti. Like, I'll I'll shoot you a picture of it on Instagram. But basically, it's become like taggers have taken over the building. The entire top, like the entire like, because it's got these like like the way the building is designed, it's got these like slips. For lack of it, it looks like a balcony, or it looks like the building's been like it has shelves. So each floor is like a shelf, right? And then this is the giant windows that you see on every skyscraper, right? Every floor of that building, the outer uh, the outer windows have just been covered in graffiti all the way up, and it looks it looks crazy, like especially in the middle of the, uh, like of LA, you know? Yeah, because it's this beautiful skyscraper that's just covered in graffiti. Well, the apartment complex that you're in, in this game, is basically the same thing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, like, like, and you read, there's an article you're reading about how, like, these, this, this building was built. Uh, I guess you're somewhere, I think you're in Germany or something like that. And these Japanese corporations came in into the small town and built these towers with promises of... This is gonna, you know, turn your economy into a whole. You guys are gonna be one of the richest small towns in this country, and then something happened where all the funding fell through, so these ba- buildings became abandoned, and then like so, a lot of people were leaving. The like it was the, the town was about to become a ghost town, and then this other cor- the, a, a Chinese corporation came in and was like, "We're gonna re-, re, we're gonna renovate all these buildings the Japanese left. We're gonna it's gonna be a resurgence," and then COVID hit. <laughs> And so, like, these buildings are still abandoned. And the one that you're in is all covered in graffiti. And, like, there's a news article you find that talks about how, like, it's just become a haven for graffiti artists. And so, like, I don't know, maybe maybe because I had, like, I had read that article or I had seen the videos of the L.A. Towers and then played this game and was kind of like, so I was already in that weird mindset. Uh And so I I had, like, a fucked up nightmare about being trapped in those fucking L.A. Towers. (laughs) Oh, and then on top, okay, and then on top of that, to go back to continue with the graffiti thing of it, so I just got—I don't know if I talked about it last week. I don't think I had it last week. Uh, I got this game for the the Meta Quest called King Spray Graffiti, and it's one of—I I fucking love this game. So basically, all it is is you put the headset on, and in one hand you have a spray can, and the other hand you have a palette, so you can change the colors of the paint, and there's a wall in front of you or a subway car, or whatever the fuck you want to paint on in their little environments. And the paint physics in this game are so fucking realistic. Like, you can like you can paint, like, like graffiti. Like, you're... Oh, you can paint too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the whole game, that, that that's what the game is, is you're just doing graffiti. And, like, with the spray paint, it's fucking, like... So, you know, like, when you're doing a spray can and you, like, if you're holding the spray can, you're spraying straight and then you kind of go off to the side, how the spray gets wider and then kind of flares off? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. You can do that in the game. And like, so you can do the flares, you can do detail. It's got all the different caps. It's got metallic paints. It's fucking cool as shit. And as someone who's actually done graffiti on the streets, it fucking brought back so many goddamn memories playing that game. It was so much fucking fun. <laughs> so now I was playing that game. Then I saw this video about the LA Towers. <laughs> and then I play this fucking Silent Hill, which talks about the fucking abandoned building everyone's tagging up. And so I was trapped in that building. I was trapped in the LA Towers after doing graffiti and chased by a monster. Oh, I didn't like it. <laughs> it, uh, it was, the game trailer looked a lot like PT. Would you say it's like it? Or it had the definitely the, definitely a similar vibe. Definitely had a similar vibe. Mm-hmm. Like the first chase, because like, I guess yeah, like the first chase after the first chase, like I played like a little bit more, and then I was like, no, I'm I'm I don't need to do this right now. <laughs> yeah, and then I went to play Call of Duty and just killed a bunch of people, so that made me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> like I am uber powerful in this game. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, it, it did feel like PT, but like, yeah, because like, well, in the PT, like you didn't have, there's no guns, no weapons. You're just kind of going through the process, and then when you get chased, you just got to run, and like the build, like it, oh, it just it felt creepy. It felt very creepy. So yeah, but that was that's, right now. It's free to play. It's it's a free download on PlayStation if you want to check it out. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably not play. <laughs> I'm not scary games like like the scariest game I'll play is Alan Wake. Yeah, <laughs> and that's just because I like Remedy. Uh, I'm like a recent fan of Remedy games. So yeah, because of Control. Yeah, Control got us all. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, um, I mean. You guys really like Max Payne, but Max, uh, I played Max Payne 3 and I really liked it, but I wasn't like into them, into yeah. the game. Uh, yeah, no, I liked Max Payne 3 as well. Michael loved Max Payne yeah. 3, but I think it's because he looks like Max Payne. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the Ko- Did you see the Kojima announcement? Yeah, about the uh, stealth action shooter. Yeah, I I lost my shit. For the what, what is it? No, it's a action. It's a it's an action tactical or an action espionage game. Yeah, an action espionage game, and that's why I was like, we were right. <clears throat> Brass sprocket is finally happening. Yeah, we called it. We called it as we, soon as he defected from Konami. Yep, we called it. We called it day one. We were wrong about Death Stranding being that game, but so the thing that makes me laugh though, okay, so Metal Gear Solid is tactical espionage action. If you you Uh, look at the title of the game, it says Metal Gear Solid. Then under that in smaller letters, it says tactical espionage action. And now this game (laughs) is an espionage action or action espionage game. With tactics. tactics. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in reverse. And I was just like, it's, it's obviously it's not going to be Metal Gear. Uh-huh. But it's going to be. I mean, I. Who's he, who's uh, he been talking to recently that, that's going to be the main kid, the, the uh, main character? Oh, who has he been talking to? Uh, damn it. Cause we ju- I think we just talked about it too, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, Oscar, it's gonna be Oscar Isaac. Oh, yeah, imagine. And he's playing. <laughs> he's playing. Uh, is, is that movie even still happening? It's still, yeah, supposedly still happening. They're still like going through the different scripts. Uh, but yeah, they they don't have a they don't they don't have a script. They have a director. They have the main character. They have Oscar Isaac, but they don't have. Uh, they don't have the script. That's fine. Hold on. Um, yeah, but what if uh, what if Oscar Isaac is the fucking main character in his espionage game? That would be. He just abandons. <laughs> he just abandons a Metal Gear movie. Oh my 
my god. Okay. So uh I have this. Uh he was hanging out with Nick Cage. Like two oh. months ago. It's the rock. It's the the rock. <laughs> the rock. The game. Oh my god! Imagine it's the rock. The game. Oh my fucking god, dude! That would a prison break fucking game by fucking Hideo Kojima with fucking Nick Cage. <laughs> Holy shit! That would be insane, <laughs> dude. And then they, like they they're just gonna add fucking AI fucking Sean Connery into it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cause John Connery died, right? I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yes, he did. Yeah. When did he pass away? I want to say like ten years, ten plus years ago. No, he died on Halloween three years, four years ago. Really? Uh, I feel October, like he's been dead for a while. Wow. Okay. October thirty first, twenty twenty. That's he was ninety. That's crazy. But yeah. I could have sworn he was dead because a bunch of people were getting on him. Like, we're like, oh, Sean Cutter, he's such a racist or, or, or he's there or something. Or he like beats him. And it, it just like people forgot about it like instantly. Oh, because there was that video. Yeah, it was him. Like they were talking about like, oh, is it okay to, or like what was, it was something about beating women. He was like, well, if she deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> And and then like I think there was like another there was a video it was like like that video was in the eighties and then it was like ten, twenty years later and they were like, Do you still feel that way? And he was like, If she yeah. deserves it <laughs> John Connery's based. Yeah. Fuck. He gives no fucks. Um but yeah, I was like I mean not just me, the entire internet was like, It's it's fucking Metal Gear. It's the it, it, it's the spiritual uh, spiritual successor to Metal Gear. Yeah, it'll it'll be even more Metal Gear than this Metal Gear three remake. I bet. Yes, I yeah, more than likely. Um, which I'm all for. I can't wait. Uh, what was it? But yeah, that that fucking, I I kept, <laughs> cause you know how they zoom out at the end of that of that clip. But they zoom out and they, oh and then that's the other thing. It's like it, it, what studio was it? Um, fuck. Uh, let me see here. Cause they show I think it's like MGM or something. Like some other it was like some studio. Like he's in the he's like you know what I'm talking about. He's in the studio a lot. Uh yeah yeah yeah. So they zoom out and it's like they're in the studio and then they zoom out further and then they they zoom out and they show the name of this. I, it, is it it might be Paramount. But I gotta see. This isn't fucking working. Um, Who did the rock? Who did the rock? <laughs> right? Let me see here. Paramount? <laughs> the Rock. Film in 1996. It was done by... Ooh. Uh, it's not telling me. God damn it. Don't you hate that when you're just trying to find one simple thing and it's giving you everything but? Everything but, yep. Uh, Oh my god, why is it not telling me who fucking produced it? Reviews, fucking top picks, more like this. Like a fucking rock movie. Studio. No, not the Rock's fucking studio. (laughs) (laughs) Nick Cage, oh. Nick Cage, The Rock, for you know, fucking studio. Hollywood Pictures, Jerry Bruckheimer Films, Buena Vista. Oh, so it was like Disney, but Hollywood Pictures. That was yeah, that was a Disney studio thing. So Disney did The Rock. Yeah, basic technically. <laughs> um, damn it! I, th- I want to say it was Paramount, but I, I, I don't quote me on that. But yeah, I was expecting like. To see like a box, like you know, just a box sitting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's just like scooting around. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't even have to scoot around. It would just have to be there in the background. Like, look, look it's a fucking box, Middle Gear. Ah, <laughs> thanks there for sure. <laughs> That's all it would take. 
Um, let me see here. What else was announced? The fucking Rise of the Ronin. That's the uh, the Souls like, right? Um, I don't think it's a Souls like, but it's gonna be. It's it's a really more like Ghost of Tsushima. Right? To me, it looked it reminded me more of Assassin's Creed than Ghost, because he's got that fucking grappling hook. And he fucking just grapples everywhere. And then he's got that fucking kite. Yeah, it's probably a mix, but I think everyone says ghost just because it's samurais, right? Yeah, it definitely looks fucking cool. And yet another game franchise that's going to be Assassin's Creed to fucking Japan, to a Japan setting. Yeah, seriously. (laughs) But yeah, it looked cool as shit. I'm all for this. I'm all for it. That trailer had me on board. Yeah, it looked all right. I don't know. I don't know if I'm on board yet, though. You gotta see. You gotta see more. Yeah. Do, when's it come out? Is it coming out this year? Uh, let me see here. Uh, it's out on. Oh, it's fucking out next month. Oh, okay. Oh, I might not. I probably won't get it just because other games. Yeah. Is the uh, other thing. Maybe maybe we during a. A, a dry spot or something, I'll get it. Or I'll check. Yeah. Because uh, I plan on getting, at least, yeah, the next, because I'm getting Hell Divers 2, which comes out next week or this week. Okay. Yeah, this week. Um, and then I'm going to get Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then in March, I'm getting Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay. That trailer for Dragon's Dogma looked fucking good. Dragon's Dogma just... It's one of those games that just stuns every single time we see it. Yeah. Um, although they do need to stop showing stuff now because it's starting they're, to... Be... They're showing too much? Yeah. They're putting too much out there. Uh, but yeah, but no, that trailer... It's like a really look. ambitious game. Like, uh, yeah. like they're, they're claiming hardcore, like, people will not have the same experience. Uh like you probably won't like, like there won't be like accurate guides on how to beat the game or anything because people will be having such a different experience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Um, what else? There was something else I was gonna bring up right here. Where to go? Uh, Until Dawn, the remaster. Mhm. I want like I think I have the first one and I just never played it. Um, initially I never played it because Jasmine was always around and, you know, she, I didn't want to scare her with shit. So I might play this one now. Cause I, I like the VR version that I have, but that VR version is not what the game is the, oh. until dawn. Because the, the the VR version that I have, that's the one. Remember, you're on the roller coaster, and you have to shoot all the shit that's coming at you. Oh right! Creepy. Oh, that VR game, yeah, yeah. Because that's called Until Dawn. Something about blood. <laughs> Russia blood. Russia blood. Yeah, Russia. Russia come. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Russia come. Yeah, that's what that one is. Yeah, um, it was uh blood and come. Yeah, yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never finished Bud and Cum either. I gotta finish that one. That's funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Bud and Cum. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? But yeah, so they're doing a remaster. It, it looked fucking... Dude, like, the original looked great. And this one looks even more fucking realistic. It looks really so fucking good. Okay. Ugh, um, let me see here. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Shadow X Sonic Generations announced. Um, it's an enhanced remaster of Sonic Generations with new content featuring Shadow the Hedgehog. So, I mean, I... Eh. That was just a remake, right? Or a remaster? It's a remaster with added content. Oh, okay. I think a lot of people were excited about that one just because Sonic Generations is like the only good Sonic game. Yeah, I never played it, but yeah, I've heard it was great. Uh, Silent Hill, the short message. That, is that what I called it? The short message? Uh, I don't know what you called it. 
I think I called it the little message or something. Little. But yeah, it's called <laughs> Silent Hill, the short message. A quick it's note. free to play. Silent Hill, a quick note. <laughs> the quick... Yep. <laughs> Silent Hill, I shot you a text. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and that was the other thing that got me too. So, so basically so far in the game, like you get, so as soon as you boot up the game, you get a suicide warning. Like, this game depicts suicide and self harm. If you need help, or if you like, here's suicide helpline. Like, don't fucking do shit. And then like you hit accept, acknowledge on that one, and then you like it loads, and then like you start a new look- game, and then you get that fucking warning again. <laughs> and so yeah, and based on like it, it does seem like it deals with suicide. Uh, just the little bit I've seen. Uh, and it's like young girls. Yeah, isn't it so like, about? It's kind of like about social media and stuff too. So, I, yeah, yeah, like bullying and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, eh, I don't need to emotionally scar myself right now. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need to uh, scar myself and traumatize myself. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish it. I, 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 apparently, it's not that long. I don't even know. I mean, the game is called a short message. I'm sure it would have to be short for them to fucking give you some, for Konami to give a free game. Basically, yeah. Um, and did you see the trailer for Judas? Yes. What do you think? The game looks awesome. It looks like a. It looks like both uh, the OG. Bio, it looks like Bioshock in general. Like this. Uh, I was gonna say a, co- a combine of. Regular Bioshock and Infinite, but it seems redundant. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it just looks like a like a modern, a beefed up fucking Bioshock. Yeah, it did look good, but it looked like this was Bio like so Bioshock was in the ocean, and then Bioshock Infinite was in the sky, and this one looked like it was underground. <laughs> yeah. Now they got to do one in space. Every <laughs> franchise has to go to space. Me start. They have to go. They have to go to the hood and they have to go to space. <laughs> Wait, he, what was the first one? He had to go away. The, oh, the hood and then they have to go to space. And then space. Yeah. To me, have you ever seen okay, so like <laughs> Oh my god. Um I don't think Jason ever went to the hood, but he went to Manhattan and he dealt with gangbangers at that point. But like Leprechaun, have you ever seen Leprechaun in the Hood? Uh no. Oh my god. It is so it's so bad, it's good. It's on it's on the level of the fucking room. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. It's just so bad. It's like it's so bad that it's a classic. Like, oh, it's so fucking terrible. But like that's but when you know a horror franchise is done when they go to space. Like well Jason horror X franchise has gone to space. Jason, Jason's gone to space. Really? Yep. Um, what movie was that? Jason X. He went to space, and he gets fucking. So they have like these nano machines that heal you, right? Uh huh. And so Jason acts like he falls in the tank of nano machines, and he becomes super fucking Jason. <laughs> okay. Because he's gonna, like, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. So I don't uh, know. Like, I, 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 I don't. I think they just shoot him out in the space eventually. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think yeah. I think they or they blow up the space station or something. Whatever the fuck. Um, Hellraiser went to space. Uh, Leprechaun uh, goes to space. Well, Hellra- uh, Hellraiser's defense—they're like interdimensional, so space isn't that great. Yeah, yeah, but okay. And, and then with and to be fair with Hellraiser, it was one of those things where like they were. It was like they were jumping back and forth in timelines. Like this was like it was like the Hellraiser was taking place in modern times, and then it would jump to the future, because they were trying to like lock all the fucking hell spawn the the Cenobites into fucking uh. They, the space station was basically just a base a giant hell prison. Uh. So, um, let me see, but yeah, so now so Bioshock needs to go to space. <laughs> they need to go to the hood. They need to make a ghetto fucking <laughs> San Andreas fucking 
Bioshock, and then they then they gotta go to space. And go to space, yeah. <laughs> uh, Zenless Zone Zero. Um, that's another that that that's a game that just doesn't that is always like around, but you just don't know what the fuck's about. Like, yeah, um, I know it's a Hoyoverse game, so it's yep. like Genshin and uh, and the new one. What's it called? Uh, Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, yeah. But I don't is know. It, this, is, is this the one that we kept calling Spider Man with upskirts? Maybe. The one with the cars and grinding and fucking web slinging and. I don't remember actually. I don't remember either. No, I want to say it is. Um, Hell Divers Two, and that was about it. Dave, what the fuck is Dave the Diver? Uh, I, like a... I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's a uh, Xbox. It was previously only on Xbox and PC. Uh-huh. I think it's a a roguelike. Oh, okay. Um, I, I I couldn't figure it. based on the trailer because it's just Dave the Diver featuring Cross Godzilla. Uh-huh. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was like that, like that, uh, like that One Punch Man meme. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dave the Diver got a couple of nominations in the Game Awards. I don't know if you remember. I don't remember that. I mean, I'm gonna look this game up really quick. Dave the Diver. Are you literally just a diver? It's eight bit, and you're just a diver. Yeah, you just go underwater. And do shit underwater. So how do you fucking fuck with Godzilla if you're just a scuba diver? <laughs> what the Godzilla fuck? Godzilla be in the water, bro. I mean, yeah, I guess, but like, I'm not trying to fuck. Like, if I'm if I'm di- if I'm scuba diving, and I see Godzilla, I'm done scuba diving. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you take like, Godzilla on, bro. Like, I'm out. I'll ski, you guys. I ain't going home. Oh man. Um hey, let's take a quick break and then um cuz that's everything from the PlayStation. And then we'll come back after a word from our sponsors. <laughs> What's going on, people? It's Pistol Pete Jr. here. Just to remind you one more time to check out Ray's Energy Drinks by Rep Sports. Ray's Energy Drinks. Amazing flavors. Zero sugar, zero dyes, zero crash. None of the junk, none of the bullshit that's in these other energy drinks. They're amazing. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them. Use coupon code TRPS for checkout. Get 15% off your order. Check out repsports.com. R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S.com. Again, use coupon code TRPS uh, for 15% off your order and to let them know that we sent you. Welcome back to the Patreon podcast. And we're back. Um let me see here. Let me pull back some of these stories now. Um uh, Alright, that was Judas. Let me see here. Death Strandings. Silent Hill saw our message. We saw that. Uh, Ryan, oh wait, no, hold on. Let me go back a little further. Oh, uh, Stellar Blade. Oh, yeah, I didn't, why didn't I cover that one? Maybe I didn't see it in whatever article I had. Uh, Stellar Blade looks sick. Yeah, I did, it did. I think that comes out next month as well. Uh, yes, it does. Jesus. Kind of crazy. March is kind of stacked. All of a sudden. Yeah. All of a sudden, right? Um, last week we talked a bit about Vince McMahon and these allegations against him, right? Uh huh. And then this, and then like literally the next day, some of his so-called text messages got uh, leaked. Uh, <laughs> and some of this shit is pretty fucking gross. Um, I don't know if you... Let me see here. Uh, let me see if some of the allegations... Like, he, he still says he didn't do shit. 
but now they're pulling in other people. So uh, of the first female referee in WWE in 1992 accused McMahon of rape. He denied and reached a settlement with her last year. He faced conspiracy charges alleging orchestrated steroid use, blah, blah, blah. Um, then, so last year when he stepped down the first time, the investigation found that he had paid nearly $15 million to four women over 16 years to quiet claims of sexual misconduct, right? Okay. So that was proven. He was paying these women off. Not for, but like, the sexual misconduct was the fact that he was just cheating on his wife, right? Right. So he was cheating with these four women and paying them off like over so four women over fifteen million dollars fifteen million dollars over how long did I say? I thought you said four years? What did you I don't remember? It was four women. Oh. Uh let me see here. Where'd it go? Um He had paid nearly fifteen million to four women over sixteen years. So that already been paying them over six. Yeah, over, like last for sixteen. Was that like over the last sixteen years he's been paying yes. them, or for the next? He's been paying them. Okay. No, the last sixteen, like for sixteen years, he's been paying them to say don't say shit. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so fifteen million divided by four. That's three point seventy five million each, right? Uh-huh. And divide that by sixteen years. So they're getting like twenty three thousand dollars a year just from McMahon. Not bad. Which I mean doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're not working for it, that's like you know Yeah, it's a free it's a free minimal it's a minimum wage job for doing nothing. Yeah, for not doing anything, yeah. For banging fucking Vince McMahon. But so some of the new allegations, hold on. Let me find if I can find them. Yeah, like yeah, with that, well, even like yeah, with that, you're set. Like you just do that. You work, uh, you work a regular job, and you're good. Yep, basically, yeah. You don't have to do yeah, because it's fucking. That's yeah. I don't know. Are you are you taxed on that? What, do they get taxed on that? What, uh, I no. I, I don't think you would. Cause that's on, on the, under the table. That's just Vince fucking paying you fucking to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. So you'd probably be good. He's not putting that in his taxes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. What if it's a write off? That's a yeah. I, uh, I I I bang these three these four women and uh, yeah. I'm paying that off. So let me let me let me write that's a let, let me write that off as a deduction. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, she suffered bruising. Okay, after McMahon forcefully penetrated her with sex toys, which he named after his wrestlers. Uh, she alleges that McMahon and another WWE executive locked her in a room and took turns sexually assaulting her during the day. So they just kept her locked in the room all day and this would come in and bang her and then leave. Uh, let me see here. I know one of them was like someone took a shit on her head during a threesome. I thought I thought the the things were that Vince was doing it. <laughs> he was doing the shitting. Uh, yeah, I think it was Vince. Let me see here if I can find it. In one let uh, let me see here. So she he would bang her basically every day in the office. Jeez. Okay, yeah. So Vince shot on her head during a threesome. <laughs> That's fucking weird, dude. Like, how do you shit on somebody? Uh, like, because so the, <laughs> during so the, a threesome. Is, so, is... The, so this is this is how it's worded. So, in one alleged sexual encounter in May of 2020, Grant claims McMahon, sh- it says defecated, but shat on her head during a threesome before commanding her to continue pleasuring his friend. 
Upon his return from the bathroom, McMahon and his friend actively resumed threesomes, which lasted over an hour and a half, while she remained covered in McMahon's filth. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a, that's a fucking mood killer. How are these guys doing it? Seriously, their- right? It just smells like fucking Vince's shit, like old man shit. Yeah, like it sucks. It sucks when you get like a little bit of a whiff of a of, of your like, girl asshole or something. Yeah, you get some swamp ass in there sometimes. Like, oh fuck, yeah. <laughs> so then, okay, so they they banged her for an hour, hour and a half after that. After he shot in her head, then Vince's uh, friend left, and he ordered her to stay and continue to f- keep fucking him. Wait, say that again. So. so Vince shot on her, shot on her head, uh-huh. while ordering her to keep fucking his friend. Then they, I guess, then Vince went to the bathroom, came back. They had a threesome for an hour and a half while she was still covered in Vince's shit. Oh, okay. The friend finished and left, and Vince was like, "Bitch, we're not done. <laughs> uh-huh. He's done." And then they kept fucking for another hour. Jeez. Um, let me see here. So, but no, you got to hear these. So the thing is for me is <laughs> like, I I can't picture Vince writing these texts. I can't, I, I can hear him saying it and I can no doubt that Vince said some shit like this, but the text messages, the way like he uses the letter U instead of saying, typing out U, the letter B instead of saying B. You know what I mean? Like that's not. I hey, feel like that's not. Hey, Vince, old man Vince thing. is a busy man. He, he ain't got time to be typing all correct and shit, bro. And so the girl's name is Janelle Janelle Grant. Uh huh. And then, so this is a text message from Vince on May 11th, and it says, "I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you?" <laughs> In the future, it's going to be so bad that you'll demand to be fucked twice a day and not just with blank in a three-way. Why not let others see that beautiful, voluptuous body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you come? They'll go out of their minds. I'll find more friends and we'll tie you up so you're helpless. I'll direct them to have their way any way they want. You, uh, Who can make you scream the loudest? Maybe I'll just line them up and see who can squirt in your mouth and then your pussy and then all over your tits and ass at the same time. (laughs) You'll be covered in cum. We'll make you eat it all and taste everybody's cum. The next morning, you'll be a little sore, but you're still going to want more. (laughs) After all that fucking over and over. (laughs) What's his daughter think about all this? (laughs) <laughs> she, I don't think Stephanie's made a, made a statement yet. There's more, but it cuts off, so I can't see the rest of that text message. Um, oh my god! But like, it's I, I swear it sounds like it's written by like a twelve year old, like like someone who has no idea what like sex really is, yeah, and only just has a fantasy of what sex is. Yeah, like not even they. It, it doesn't even seem like he's seen porn. Like he just yeah, exactly. He's just yeah. he's just heard stories. It's like it's like those stories we first like discover. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, those things like your friend everyone... first discovered. He just starts giving you stories about like the craziest. Shit. Exactly, that's exactly what this sounds like. Here's so hold on, let me see. There's a shit ton of text messages. Um, so here's another one. This one says, R.E. your last picture. So this is a response to the last picture she sent him. You need your panties ripped off and three, and this part's in all caps, big black dicks <laughs> <laughs> in all three holes at the same time. And then, so this is the other thing. He spells pussy, P-U-S-S-E-Y. Pussy. Pussy. So it says, so you need three big black dicks in all three holes, all at the same time. Way up your pussy and way up your ass as far as they will go, but even farther. <laughs> and the thickest cock goes down your throat so it makes you gag and convulse as those big black 
Cox pound away. It feels like from the start you're being assaulted, but it just made you come <laughs> nonstop. Just he's one a, can like a fucking he's a fucking uh what was that what was that uh he's a Tumblr fucking blogger. Seriously, it really is. <laughs> it really is. So just one continuous constant orgasm. And just before you pass out, those big black dicks squirt their loads yeah, and come he, inside you. This is exactly <laughs> a Tumblr blogger just writing <laughs> fanfics. Like it is, dude. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> as you lay on your stomach the cum is coming out of all your holes I'll turn you over and jack off all over you <laughs> it's like what the fuck it legitimately is just like oh god this one's talking about how he passed a, a phone around with her pictures and people are calling her beautiful and saying, look at that ass and how many times they want to fuck her. Uh-huh. And it's 12 guys he's passing the phone around to. Uh, and so this one is her, like Vince is trying to say, trying to get her into having a threesome with another friend. Uh-huh. And she's trying to, so it says, exactly, baby. He's not the only one. Blank called me this afternoon begging to eat you and fuck you with his nice and then in parentheses, and hard, dick. <laughs> and then she responds to it saying, give me another week and I'll be ready. I'm feel, I'm feeling more like myself. It's not great, but it's better. Tell him soon. And then it says, I already told him, by the way, Johnny wants Tuesday, but not this coming one and the occasional Saturday. But maybe I can shift it to Thursday nights. Johnny would like all of the above. So he's just like planning like fucking fuck dates for her now. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let's see here. Uh, this was more about Johnny. Uh, which one? Here's what Blank said after I told him part of the deal was fucking you. Uh, he said that's your turf. She will be ruined after me and leave your ass. <laughs> Plus, after me, your tool won't fit anymore. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, it's fucking nuts. I just, I wish I had a better Vince McMahon voice. I need to get like an AI Vince fucking voice and have it read out these fucking text messages. <laughs> like, it's fucking insane though. Like, it's weird because part of me wants to believe it, but at the same time, part of me is like, am I, do I believe it or is it just because Vince was such a good heel? Like, so a lot of people believe that that person they see on TV, that asshole character that Vince plays, is Vince. But if you like hear people talk about the like the real Vince, he's not that guy. Uh-huh. And but like reading these text messages, like he's it's like guy. he's that fucking guy. Like he that's him. <laughs> it's like it's so weird. Maybe he just maybe he plays that guy so well because this is who he wants to be. That's who he wants to be. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking nuts though, man. Like, but like the thing about it is, is she. For the most part, based on the like the messages and, and what the okay, yeah, she was coerced into it, but at the same time, like she would go back. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I mean, okay, I mean, the work thing, okay, yeah, like okay, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I can't avoid this fucking while I'm at work. I mean, I can't say I don't know. It's fucking weird. Like, I, I don't know because, you know, I was like, I've never, like, no one's trying to bang me at work, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to bang you, and then you're going to come to work, and then if I call you, you're going to come to my house. Like, <laughs> I'm going to shit on your head. <laughs> shit on your head. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. I can't put myself in that position. Maybe him I, and her should get together. Yeah, this shit on beds. Together, and then yeah. fucking it. <laughs> hey, you're a match made in heaven, there. Oh God, that's the name of this episode. Vince, Vince Cross Amber. <laughs> oh shit. Um. Oh God, what was I gonna say? There was something else I was gonna say now. Uh, I lost. 
I just I lost it. Uh, what is this? Oh, uh, new Call of Duty. The new characters they're adding for season two is uh, Walking Dead. They're adding Rick Grimes and uh, what's her name? Michonne. I saw the Michonne. The Michonne looks really good. Yeah, the Rick Grimes does too. I didn't see the Rick Grimes. And what's cool about it is like they don't look cartoony. They don't look like they look like the characters, and like they, they kind of fit the 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 game itself. Some of them, yeah, it's it's getting a little too Fortnitey. Uh, turns out, kill the Suicide Squad, uh, Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League is not Kevin Conroy's final Batman performance. There is an unreleased movie that's going to be coming out, an animated uh, uh, film. And he did some voice work for the new animated series that's going to be released. But for Batman or? Yeah, for Batman. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're going to get some Kevin Conroy Batman still, which is awesome. Because I like, that's another reason I was so butthurt about Kill the Justice League. Is because it's supposedly, it was supposedly his last performance as Batman. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, man. like Kind of shitty that uh, they advertise it as such, though. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to advertise it as such when it's not actually? As... I, well, I think it was, and then this, this new footage came to light. Mm. So. Um, let me see here. We talked about Judas. We talked about that. Uh, did you see the new Fortnite? Uh, the Fortnite Fortnite uh, wireless guitars? No. So they they there's a video they show them they they're fold they fold in half so they collapse down to be easier to store, not like those big ass clunky one like not like real guitars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it folds in half so you can store it easily. Um, it doesn't. So the 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 buttons and the strum bar don't have that mechanical click noise anymore. So it's more silent, so you don't have to worry about it. like you know when when you're when you're playing the game, it kind of does kind of ruin the immersion when you just click 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 click. <laughs> you know, I like the click the. <laughs> That's only because you like the, the acoustic version of Jonah the whale. Jonah and the whale. <laughs> John the fisherman. <laughs> oh, John the fisherman. I don't know what I'm saying. Jonah the whale. John the fisherman. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, fucking uh, the uh, shit. What's that game? The the Rise of the Ronin. Uh huh. Is gonna have three play three uh player co op. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm good. Um, let me see here. Last of Us Part Three has been confirmed to be in the works by Naughty Dog. Oh, cool. I was hoping mm. hoping to hear some news about it. Where do you think they take the story? Um, I'm assuming you're we're gonna follow Abby for the beginning of the game. That's what I was thinking too. Cause Abby and um, what was that kid's name? And Lev, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. I'm assuming it's gonna follow Abby and Lev for majority of the game, just like. We followed uh, Ellie for the majority of the second game. Yeah. And then uh, I imagine they work in Ellie somewhere or uh, I don't know. I, I feel like they have to make her playable, right? But but do they though? Question. I feel I feel like I feel like Naughty Dog would be like, nah, fuck that. You're playing this whole game as Abby now. <laughs> Maybe, but I, I don't know be hard to say because like so i i remember there was the, so the whole thing with metal gear with metal gear 2 you play the, it's like the first 30 minutes of the game you play a solid snake and then the rest of the game you're playing as raiden and so many people were fucking butthurt about that so many people and so and then because like, raiden is kind of is fairly gay you know <laughs> He's not a great you character. Made me, you made me play as a fag this whole time. <laughs> uh, but then in Metal Gear 4, they bring out Raiden and he's this fucking 
he's still very gay. He's a cyborg that wears high heels. <laughs> But he's this badass fucking cyborg that takes down the fucking uh, uh, the geckos in like one fucking like with this crazy ass vibrating sword that he has, and he's just epic badass. And it's like, nope, you can't play as him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's it? Oh, now, oh, now you want to play as him? Yeah. Now, yeah. Now you want to play as Raiden? But nope, <laughs> go back to playing as old Snake. <laughs> Yeah, enjoy that old bony booty. <laughs> oh shit! Um, PlayStation new handheld console in development. So this has been confirmed that the Stone is in early stages of de- developing a new PlayStation handheld. Uh-huh. Uh, the ru- the rumored features are powered by new AMD chip. That it will run PS4 and PS5 titles. Uh, you can download the game to the device, so you're not going to be using remote play. And, but but the estimated release is 2026. Wait, so what, what about the say the first the first one? There is the remote play, and then what? So so it's it's rumored to be powered by a new AMD chip. Oh. It's going to run PS4 and PS5 titles. You're going to be able to download games directly to the device, so you're not going to have to play remote play. Oh, okay. Uh, and it, it's rumored to be uh, uh, estimated to re- uh, release in 2026. This is supposed to be like the next console, or what? No, this is the PSP, the oh. next PlayStation Portable. Oh, I don't think that's going to be. I don't think that's a real thing. You don't think so? Well, it's confirmed to be in development. Oh really? It, yeah, it's com- it's confirmed make- to be. What was that? It just doesn't make any sense in my mind because it's a they just put the portal out. Yeah, I, that's what I thought too. But yeah, no, this has been confirmed to be in development. It's just the features are rumored right now. Mm. Which is yeah. pretty crazy. <sighs> I love the comments on this one, though. Like, the top comment on this is, just get a gaming laptop. It's a bigger screen, but still portable. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, I guess a gaming, a gaming laptop is portable, but not as portable as a fucking PlayStation portable. Right. It's like the size of a phone. So you can pick it up, play it. Like, a fucking gaming laptop, you got to fucking pull it out, boot it up, fucking... Like... <laughs> It's, yeah. Uh, let me see here. A lot of people are saying it's probably due to the outcry. Because a lot of people aren't happy with the PlayStation Portal. Oh. Yeah, but they wouldn't... I don't know. They, they would have to have uh, already had a plan for this if they're already like developing stuff, right? That's true. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I mean, I loved the PlayStation Portal, I, the uh, the original PlayStation Portable, the original PSP. I loved it. And we're back again. And we're back. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know. We were in the middle of a conversation, and then uh, I don't remember what I was saying now. I was talking about something, and then uh, I don't remember. I really don't. Let me see. Let me pull up my story so I can see if I can remember what I was trying to say. Uh, Go back. Go back. Go back. Miss the deals. Where's our stories? PlayStation Portable? Oh, I was thinking about I love the, the original PSP. Oh, yeah. But I, never, I never got a Vita. But I heard the Vita was really good. Uh, really quick. So, did you have you ever seen the movie 13 Ghosts? Uh, no. 
it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Uh, it's about this guy that catches 13 ghosts. No, he catches 12 ghosts. And like, it's like, to, it's like to, to make us to run a spell that's going to make him immortal. And the 13, 13th ghost has to be an innocent person. And like, so he kills himself and he's a 12th ghost, I think. And then like, he has to, it's like his son-in-law or something. And he's going to kill him in this house and seal his soul. And then it's going to bring the original guy back to life. And like eventually, but all what happens is like the house is like one big trap. And each ghost is trapped in this glass cage. And then like the house like releases each ghost one at a time to try to go out and kill this guy. And each ghost is like crazy. Like like one one ghost is this giant. It basically looks like Frankenstein, but he was just like a just a big ass dude that would just kill people with his bare hands. Um, there was another one that's like she was like a a mistress to like a mobster, and like she ended up like slicing the mobster up before she killed herself. Okay. And, and it's like a bunch of like brutal ass. These ghosts are all fucking brutal ass ghosts. And so apparently they're going to be making a series about this movie. Um, I think this movie came out in 2000. And huh. they're going to be making a series about it. And it looks like each episode is going to focus on one ghost. Give you like a, the full backstory about the ghost. And like how they be like what their life was. How they became like how the, how their life ended. And then like the, like what happened after they haunt like became ghosts. So like the like the Frankenstein guy, he would haunt a junkyard, and he would just kill people that came into the junkyard. And it was kind of, so it's going to kind of focus on that before he got like everything before he got captured. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it was. It's a great fucking movie. I highly recommend the movie. It's a good good movie. Um, let me see here. All right, and then before we wrap up, this is just actually okay. These are kind of throwaways, uh, not throwaways, but uh, Sony is is. Uh, supposedly working on an R-rated Spider-Man film. Which, uh, I mean, do we need an R-rated Spider-Man film? <laughs> yeah, I don't think R-rated uh, Spider-Man doesn't belong. Uh, uh, or what is it? Uh, Spider-Man doesn't the be R-rated. Yeah, he does, yeah. what's he going to do, cuss? Yeah. <laughs> fucking, fucking get webbed. Thwip. Yeah, he doesn't kill people, so... Yeah, yeah. I don't see why Spider-Man needs uh, to be rated R. Um, this story makes me... I'm going to go see Blade in the theaters, and I'm probably going to go see it more than once because of this story, if this is true. A Midnight Suns film will only happen if Blade is successful. Um, okay. Yeah, and so... Cool. Yeah, I want Blade to be successful now because my only I thing want... is they they don't they don't have a fucking they're not they, it, they don't have like a concrete plan. It seems like they're just throwing shit on a wall. Yeah, it's true. They're just trying to see what works. And with every movie, it becomes more and more apparent they don't know what's going on. They just yeah. Well, especially for them to for them to say that like okay, well. If this is successful, then we'll go this way. If it's not, then we'll figure something else out. Yeah. Kind of thing, you know? Um, and then, so, my last story here. So, do you remember us talking about Neuralink? Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is Elon Musk's brain chip. It was in, it was in, uh, not installed into a chimpanzee, I believe. I don't know what happened to that fucking monkey, but apparently they've moved on to human test subjects. It's been successfully implanted into a human now. And the initial people they're trying to get this thing to work for is it's implanted in the specific part of your brain that controls motor control. So like the the part of your brain that controls your arms and your legs and all that. Right. That's where they implant this. And so what it's what the what the first project they're working on for this chip is to help with people who have uh, are paralyzed or people that have um, have like amputees. 
so they can so they can like attach a prosthetic robotic arm and the Neuralink should be able in theory to help control that prosthetic. Right. Kind of like what they were working on in Spider-Man the game. Yeah. Right? I still don't fucking trust Elon Musk implanting shit into anybody's brain. Especially if it's going to it's going to have access to the part of my brain that controls my limbs. Yeah. <clears throat> Cuz I just like <clears throat> I just I I like I like being able to have control over my limbs and I feel like like it's like people hack phones. <laughs> Like they can hack your phone and access all your shit. Now, if someone hacks your fucking Neuralink chip, <laughs> yeah, they can just pro- program you, program you to kill somebody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you know what? I'm good. I'm good. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing of having it chipped into into your brain is just like a crazy fucking thing. Yeah, it's it's nuts. I don't I. Uh, I'm good. I don't need anything in play. Like, I'm all about technology and upgrades and shit like that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if Cyberpunk was real and I could fucking upgrade my arms and legs and fucking be fucking have mantis blades and shit, Uh I'd probably do that shit. But I'm not gonna fuck with my brain. (laughs) Right. Yeah, my brain's already fucked up. I can't be... Exactly. Yeah. Give me stronger arms and legs? Fuck yeah. Give me mantis blades? Fuck yeah. I got fucking turrets out of my shoulders? I'm all for that. New eyeballs that can see infrared? Fuck yeah. Don't fuck with my brain. I like me. (laughs) I like my brain the way it is. (laughs) Uh, I think on that note, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah. Um, But don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the real press start. On Twitter. Oh wait, really, really quick before we do this. So, if you okay, out of any of the cyberpunk upgrades, and you could pick one, which one would you get? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Remind me on the remind me the one the upgrades. So, like the mantis blades is the one that comes to my to my mind right away. But yeah. there was like so uh, the infrared eyes. There was the um, gorilla arms. Gorilla. There was the the so you were just like super had super strong arms. You can do the shockwave thing. Uh, there was the double jump thing. Uh huh. There was the reverse jointed knees so you could run faster. Oh, I'd probably do a Sandeva stand. Oh yeah, the fuck yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That but that's from uh, Edge Runners. No, it's in the uh, well. It's in the. It's in the game too. Yeah, yeah. But they really. Yeah, I think that that's what I would do too, to be able to like speed up your like. To be able to move so fast, it looks like everyone else is standing still. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's what I would pick too. That or the double jump. I don't know why. I just always wanted a double jump. I wish I, wanna... I wish I could go. <laughs> what? <Wahoo! laughs> exactly. I just it's like it's, I, I wouldn't have no practical uses for it, but I can like, hey, look, guys, I can double jump. <laughs> okay. Now on that note, <laughs> uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebookcom start on Twitter's at Real Press Start, on Instagram at Real at the Real Press Start, and on TikTok at the Real Press Start. Like us, rate us, review us anywhere you get your podcasts. And on that note, game over. No more questions. Beep boop.